Dota 2 is hard, but there's a huge reward for those who commit. On the surface, the game is a like-for-like -like reproduction of the genre-creating Defense of the Ancients modification for Warcraft 3, now transferred into Valve's Source Engine. And, as with any multiplayer online battle arena, success in Dota 2 is about effectively juggling the broad strokes and the finer details. <laughs> If you're not aware of the basics, two teams of five heroes battle alongside waves of NPC troops with the aim of destroying the other's all-important ancient building. You pick one hero from a current pool of 102 and then fight across the map's three lanes for gold and experience, which are used to upgrade your hero's items and level up their unique skills. Each hero has a handful of unique abilities, and most work best in a specific role, such as supporting other players as Omni Knight, roaming around the map looking for opportunistic kills as Spirit Breaker, or evolving throughout the course of the game into an all-powerful vehicle of carnage and destruction as Phantom Assassin. And with around 130 items available from the shop, there's always plenty of choice to further adapt your hero. For instance, try negating magic attacks with Black King Bar, returning damage with Blade Mail, or pounding out two ultimate abilities in quick succession with a Refresher Orb. Games of Dota 2 aren't short, with most lasting around 40 minutes. It means watching the enemy fortress dramatically crumble is exhilarating, but at the same time the game's rich get richer mentality means that sometimes you do feel like you're being bullied for half an hour. Yes, Dota 2 is a complicated and exhausting game, and for the first few weeks it's challenging just keeping up with the general rhythm of a match. Often you feel like you're on information overload. How do you effectively divide your forces? When should your team attempt to vanquish Roshan, the map's most powerful creep? And what on earth are runes? This dizzying scale and complexity can be off-putting, but the truth of Dota is that it's entertaining for a player in their formative stages to just sit down and let all those extra factors play out around them. Actually getting down to the brass tacks of a game with a group of like-minded friends is a lot of fun. Start by buying your character's recommended items, try your best not to get caught out of position, and get into the habit of buying Observer Wards. Dota 2 is more punishing than most other MOBAs by design, and often even the slightest mistake can result in a grisly demise, but perseverance is rewarded. Once the game gets its hooks into you, late night Skype calls, drawn out conversations down the pub and lost lunch breaks follow. Very few games are able to withstand so many emotionally charged discussions about tips, tactics and tribulations. Dota 2 is an overwhelming, intoxicating and emotionally dangerous game that can quite easily take over your entire gaming life. Dota 2 is a free-to-play game, but it's unquestionably a fair one. Every hero is immediately available to all players, and real money purchases of weapons, hats and armour are purely cosmetic. It's easily possible to rack up hundreds of items without spending a penny. The experience of playing Dota changes day by day. Some evenings will be exhilarating, others will kick your morale to the curb, but there are few games as worthy of your time investment as this. Those who choose to commit to Dota 2 will find many happy hours within this immaculate update.